Tonight's discussion or lecture, nearest and dearest. This is part two. My first nearest and dearest was the first car you owned or learned to drive on. That would be a 1954 Jeep with a stick shift. My first car that was actually registered in my name was a 67 Chevy. And that was nearest and dearest. But as you get older and those cars get smashed up, you know, possessions are, possess you, don't, you know, don't let them possess you. I, but I do appreciate excellence in engineering. The Craftsman, Flex Head Ratchet, the guy that designed that should get the Nobel Prize. And this is a, a bungalow engineering, it's just a aluminum pipe. The round end can go over that for extra leverage and, and you can put a box wrench in it here on this hammered down end. Another excellence in engineering, the mini flex head for working in tight spaces under the car. More no blow prize material. The guy that designed these ratchets, ratchet wrenches, sheer rocket scientist. I found these pliers in a junkyard, the bent needle nose pliers. Very, very useful. And let's not overlook duct tape and PVC tape and marker pens. Nearest and dearest possession. A warm hat and Bernie mittens on a cold day. That's nearest and dearest. These hockey sticks are probably 30 years old. This one's my pattern stick. I try to make the other, other sticks like that. This one here has been busted, busted off, but I like the grip and I, I try to match new sticks up whenever I carve them up and adjust them so the blade angle and everything's perfect. Nearest and dearest possessions, my first pair of really good expensive hockey skates. In the 70s they were about 150 bucks, now they're five or six hundred bucks. Other nearest and dearest felt line boots made, made in Canada by the Sorel Company. The Carolina boots made overseas, I think in Vietnam. A simple snow brush with a scraper cut off the invaluable for cleaning your shoes off after a dog walker or any kind of brushing cleanup jobs. The guy that invented these oil filter wrenches, big and small filters, and the guy that invented those, fil those sockets that go over the oil filters, those are brilliant engineering. Locking needle nose pliers, extremely useful. Check this out. I used to saw a pipe before, and this jobber grips it. Oh, yeah, that time it cracked it. <laughs> Yeah, you can pretty much go right, 
right, right straight through that and make a nice, nice ring. A customized short handle hammer for working in tight spaces. And if you got an even tighter space, you got the bungle engineering hammer, forward or backwards. I don't know who invented these Italian pruners, but awesome. They work great on rose bushes. Another garage sale buy. An aluminum scoopy shovel. Dust pan, snow. It fits in your car easy. Multi-purpose. Yeah, I don't collect stuff, but I, I appreciate the good stuff I have, and I'm thankful for it. God bless the tubers. Oh, another thing I forgot. Cookware. Are we still rolling? Any of these old time frying pans that are real smooth on the inside, man. You can't beat those for cooking. That's probably been through three or four families. God bless, and a Rachel Ray pan. Or no, that ain't the Rachel Ray. That's just some other one like a Rachel Ray. You get the idea. God bless the tubers, I'm out.